So uh, that's downtown, way off in the distance. Panning to the left, starting to look up north. Holy cow, this is uh, White Ranch, and it's where we're going to start our hike today along the Rawhide Trail. It's a loop. It was a little rainy this morning. It's all kind of cleared off. And it's absolutely gorgeous up here. Alright, here we are at uh, White Ranch, just outside of Denver. You can see Denver from here. Um, there's a lot of different trails here, but we're going to be doing the Rawhide Trail today. Uh, hopefully it'll be uh, non-rainy. Well, the trail starts off more of a uh, jeep road and a hiking path, but uh, it's pretty beautiful. Uh, we're going to go with it. This is the uh, Belcher Trail, which from the upper parking lot you could actually take down to this point and then follow it down. Here's the uh, next kind of turn off. It's the uh, Wrangler's Run off to our right, but uh, we're going to go forward. There are some uh, campsites back here. Got a few people camping back there. Here is the uh, Raja Trail waterhole loop. I'm going to try the uh, waterhole loop maybe next time. Kind of interesting. Here is uh, campsite six through eight, and whoa, there's some uh, firewood and. Even more firewood if you brought your little axe. I also noticed that there's a uh, pump for water. So that could come in handy. It's actually a nice part of the trail. It's uh, turned into a trail. Um, cut through uh, trees. You can see some uh, fire damage. But uh, a lot of the grass and wildflowers seem to be growing back, so a little good with bad. So there is a certain beauty to uh, hiking kind of within the city park, county park type thing is the porta potty. Hmm. Well, that's the first mountain biker I've seen all morning. Although you do see some tracks for mountain bikers, but uh, it's been pretty quiet so far. So uh, 
Here is that uh, water hole trail um, off to our right. We're going to go left and stay on the uh, rawhide trail. And uh, on second thought, after looking, I saw that water hole trail off in the distance. Uh, stick with the rawhide trail. There's a lot more wild flowers. A little steep going up to uh, the back side here. Here we are, is the bench for the uh, Princess Anne view. Let's see what we get. It is very nice, although there is a tree right in the middle. Sounds like a good idea, but uh, I think a lot of times it just doesn't happen. I think a lot of it depends on you listening for what's going on. Similar to listening for bears or mountain lions or any other thing. We are uh, in the valley and uh, here's another Wranglers Trail, which we won't take. We're going to stay on the Rawhide Trail. Hey guys. Mm -hmm. All right, just a quick detour off the uh, trail. I saw some uh, old equipment up here. Thought I'd take a look. Come this far. And I do see a port potty off in the distance which we shall also visit. Ah, this is a uh, manure spreader. Who would have guessed? This one is a hay mower. So it looks like a riding mower. And this one is a seed drill. Let's put the seeds in the top and just dug a little hole and drop the seeds. This is a hay rake. Yeah, I can see that. Just throw head right up there. That's where we started. Alright, well that was uh, about two and a half hours. Uh, it was uh, four and a half miles according to the trail map. And uh, it was really nice. Uh, hikers, bikers, kids, dogs, um, all kinds of people, but everybody seemed to be courteous. Uh, a few steep up hill sections. And just kind of FYI, this trail I walked um, clockwise. 